everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays AI the Somnium Files. Today we uh oh that's right. Hitomi and what are you doing? Oh we're racing and we're kinda goes like why are we chasing out the iris? No, we were racing here. Hitomi and uh so apparently know each other. That's right, we came to visit Oda because he likes conspiracy theories. Hi Iris. Are you cold? Iris, you look cold. You okay? Yeah, fine. Are you lying to me? I just get cold easily. I feel like you're the lying to me. Is 74 degrees Fahrenheit That's warm. Humidity. Not conditions often considered cold. Uh, about Oda. Oda's like my big brother. Mm -hmm. He's a hero who will help me out of any jam. You don't... Okay, one, that's absurd. And two, you don't call him like Oni-chan, right? Because he will totally touch himself to that. He's really important to me. I like him a lot. How much? Three Earths worth. Oh. Yeah! At least it's legal. He's still kind of a weirdo sock puppinger or everything like that. He's like a cute little sister. And, and my favorite friend. I like her a lot. How much? About three universes worth. Oh, damn, dog. Oh, uh, yay, I beat Oda! No voice? No voice! Aww. I mean, it's not that hard to beat Oda. She's trembling. That's probably not a good thing. Uh, do you know where your father is? If you're asking me... He's involved in all this, isn't he? Oh, absolutely! Is he the culprit? Oh, yeah! Did he really kill Mom? You know, at this point, I have no goddamn idea, so I'm just saying yes to everything. Well, I guess it's understandable that he'd be a suspect. After Mom got killed, he didn't even call. They called me out to Bloom Park for some reason. To find the body! I thought it was suspicious, but... But... I pretended not to notice. I didn't want to acknowledge it. I wanted to believe in Daddy. I mean, that's fair, right? Most children are... As long as they... Well, okay. Her parents weren't exactly good people. Uh, but at the same time, most p kids, if they have, like, a good connection with their family, even though Mizuki didn't, they're, they're, they'll, they'll block out some horrible stuff. If it's not like a recurring thing. Why are you here? Not all the time, well, but okay. it's easier to believe that your parents didn't do something awful than to believe that they actually did. And again, that's a, that's saying if you actually have a good relationship with your parents. Date, can I leave? Yes, absolutely. Oda gestured and walked over to the corner of the room. I quietly stood up and followed. Look, I was going to let you have it. Oh, you're welcome to try. What are you talking about? Mizuki, of course. You've been neglecting her. Don't you think she's at her limit? Mizuki stayed at one of the mermaid's houses last night. She was twisting and turning all night. I had to sleep in the same bed so she'd calm down. She called me this morning so I could pick her up. Normally, Can you even drive? No, you can't. Mizuki had the day off for morning. I thought that she shouldn't be alone. Why don't you try being nicer to Mizuki? That was a different timeline. This timeline is now like conspiracy theory. I know she doesn't show it, but she's really hurting. She needs you, Date. She just doesn't want to trouble you. She's a remarkable, brave young girl. You should try to understand how she feels. I haven't been given that option. Anyways, go to school, Mizuki! Who is Iris to me? A friend? A big sister? And I kinda envy her. No, stop it! Is it the headdress? It's true, though. I look up to you a lot, Iris. Like, physically. She's a lot shorter than you. <laughs> uh, that's Mizuki. Okay, Oda. Where's your mother? Is she making She's more juice? Right Okay. I'm not sure where. Shopping, maybe. You should probably... Dog. 
Dog, you should probably keep an eye on her with her memory loss and shit like that. How about Iris? Don't look at her like that. Yes, it is. My hopes and dreams, my peace and my life, my light, my star, my sun, my goddess. She's like the laws of the universe itself, the embodiment of beauty. An angel, a lover, a cute mascot to put on a body pillow. Run, Iris. A guru, a wife, a soulmate, life itself. She's the object of my total devotion and worship. Seriously, run. Snuck lover and wife in there. I would ignore it. Like Iris? Like I told you before, I'm Tessa's thrall. She's a vampire? If she calls for me, I'll be there. Yeah, I have noticed with the taser marks and the pan to the head. That shit's deadly, hey, dog. Santa. That makes me happy. And disturbed, probably. Uh, about... Uh, it's Nightlock. I don't know. I've heard of them. Nizitlos, or Nyes, is a satanic secret society. Like a cult. They sacrifice children. While the sacrifice is up all night screaming, the cult performs ritual acts. Dark. Their ranks are full of politicians, intellectuals, and business tycoons. They've only been active for a few decades. But some say that they've grown to be the largest secret society in the world. An organization so big that it absorbed the Freemasons and the Illuminati. <laughs> uh, yeah. But even though their membership is huge, no one knows who their leaders are. Could it be Satan? Like, you've heard of the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, right? But for Nice, there's nothing. No one knows who's running the cult. It's Satan. My guess is that they're being led by a group of super geniuses. Ota doesn't know about the Wanchet system or its connections to Nice. Iris found out just why they're after her. Pieces fit. If you believe everything she said. Uh, I guess summarize for me. All right, Iris. Summarize it in the way that you would summarize something for a four-year-old child. You got it. Date. If something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? No. I'll come help right away. That's what I would be worried about. Me too. You less so because you're like superhuman. I'll save you no matter what, Iris. She probably would too. Thank you both. Promise me. I promise. I don't promise. We leaving? All right, where are we going? Marvel, of course. Why wouldn't we go to Marvel? Because of the shootout yesterday? That's absurd! Where are we going next? Marvel? Marvel, Golden Yokocho. Wasn't that where we were attacked by Nice? Yeah. It'll be fine. Mm. I didn't tell anyone we were going there. They won't be waiting for us. Besides, they wouldn't ambush us in the same place twice. You don't know that. But why Marvel? No reason. I just need to talk to Mama. I gotta apologize to Mama about that lie. Mm -hmm. And probably hire a bunch of dancers for the outside of her store. That's probably gonna cost a lot, huh? Sorry I couldn't come last night. Sorry about the lie about the Macho Men. No, no. Don't worry about it. It was better that you didn't. Huh? You didn't hear? There was a shootout right in front of the bar. I know, I was there! They closed all of Golden Yokocho down. They were saying something about hitmen suddenly pulling out guns and shooting. They were trying to kill a man and a woman. Hi. Why are you looking at me like that? Wait a minute. Yep. I told Mom about last night and about, you know, Matlock. How are you doing, Iris? Want a drink? No, I'm okay. Uh, what do you think of Mama? She's a delight. No, oh, aren't you nice? Are you looking for a job? Iris is still in high school. <laughs> How about after you graduate? Starting rate is six million yen an hour. What? I'll take it. Date, I need a 
need a body so I can work here immediately. You won't get hired looking like that. Uh, what should we ask? Mama, what, what are the qualifications for that job? Hmm, just polishing the bonito. Why? Why indeed. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright. I wasn't... Iris, let me introduce you to my <laughs> Horrifying at all. That's a fridge. Mm. <laughs> hey, Date, it says beignet custard on the board. I guess. What is that? Beignet custard? I think it's written wrong. It's supposed to be vernier thrusters. Mama, you better order them quicker. We won't be able to control the rocket. I know, I know. I'll have the vernier thrusters ready tomorrow. Cool. Can we go to Tashi Station? Pick up some power converters? N no? Alright, that's fine. Alright, I'll check those out. Alright, anything interesting? Honestly, probably not. We've been here so many goddamn times. You sure you don't want to drink, Iris? I'm a cop, so I... Beer! <laughs> Beer? Where? <laughs> What? Don't like beer? Is that supposed to be a joke? You say stuff like that all the time. Yeah! Alone, even! Well, I was usually there. I don't really count, though. Dante, you want to watch Hiroka's promotional video? I don't know what that is, so sure. Who? Uh, anything else? No. Alright, introduce Iris. Sorry for the late introduction. This is Iris. Nice to meet you. I'm Aset. You bet. Oh, sorry. Habit. I meant Iris. Oh my, you are so cute. Are you a virgin? You are right. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. What a coincidence. Me too. I would hope. Oh, you don't say. I... <laughs> Jesus. Uh, about the armed men. I think they must be foreign mafia. Some kind of international organization. They would do anything for money. Nice must anything? Be them. Uh, about Matlock? Sorry, honey, but I don't know a thing about that. You're an informant. I'm sure you must know something. I'm well versed in local information. I know all about Tokyo's underworld, but I can't say much about the rest of the world. It seems like you should branch out a little bit then. Mama, I want to ask you something. What is it? Those gunmen were waiting for us. Did you tell anyone we were coming? That's right. You did tell Mama that you were coming. <gasps> Mama! Do you work for Satan? And that you were bringing Iris. Hmm. Well... I did tell one person. And who's that person? Was that Satan? Who? The person I was gonna have you meet, of course. Same guy who gave Ren his watch. Okay. What's his name? Futa, I think. Futa. Futa Amanoma. Futa Amanoma. <gasps> do do we know him? <sighs> All right, one second. One second, per prisms. Do we know a Fuda? I am assuming yes. Maybe we just haven't met them yet. God, you're so weird looking. Oh, Pewter City. Oh, are you Satan? What? That's... Pewter. So we should go to Viridian City. Okay, see you later, Mama. Okay, let's think about this for a second. I'm still thinking about it. There's Not exactly sure. Here. Why would we bring Iris? Maybe he went home. No, that can't be. He doesn't have a home. Pewter is definitely around here somewhere. 
Date, your intuition is correct. I am detecting a living organism nearby. That's Iris. I knew it. Is Pewter in here? Oh, no. we gotta find him? All right. I'm this Pewter guy must be hiding inside the CRT monitor. That seems right. What is he, a contortionist? Of course he's not in there. Also, yes, he is a contortionist. You can see those pictures. Um, okay. So, we're, we're suggesting that Pewter is... I know. In a binder. This Pewter guy must be hiding between the binders. So, he's working with his nice people, right? Uh, presumably, are trying to kidnap Iris. Does that mean he's working with Renju and... Uh, Felco? Also, wait a minute. Wait. Pewter was Renju's lover? Right? That the lover gave him the watch, right? I feel like that should have been a bigger reveal. What is he made of paper? Maybe. Of course he's not in there. Okay, so Pewter is Renju's lover. And he's working with Renju and I guess Felco. Is that why his fucking feet weren't chained to the ground? Re oh, Pewter. Oh, Pewter! I'm gonna pewter you in the ground, goddammit! Look of at the table. Pewter is not there. You don't know that. Take this search more seriously. Is Pewter here? No. Of course not. It's in the locker, I'm imagining, right? Probably? Maybe he went to the virtual world? He's having an adventure with, like, Agumon or something? Oh, he wouldn't have Agumon. He, he's... He is dressed like a JRPG villain! That's always a clue! Oh, I should have seen this shit coming! I know it's not a JRPG, but still. X-Ray. <laughs> Alright, shoot through the locker. Where's that bastard? Shoot through the locker. Right in the groin. It won't kill him, probably. Wait a minute. Uh, okay. I'll tell you everything. You told those men you know, execution that execution the Golden Yokocho, didn't you? Yes, I did. Why? Renju hired them. Renju did? Which means Mr. Okiura is in with Nice. Nice? Don't play dumb. I know you're with them. I don't know what you're talking about. I was just helping Renju. Did you help number 89 get away? How much does she know? A lot, because I blabber. Shoot him in the kneecaps! Just answer the question. Yes, I did. Oh, that explains the no chained feet. It's been bothering me. How was number 89 able to escape from Metro so easily? Probably because of Pewter. And you were the one being held hostage. If you were helping him the whole time, it all makes sense. Oh, what'd you do with Boss? I'm thinking you made her disappear or something. Introduce Pewter. <laughs> this is Pewter. Oh, uh, hi. Nice to meet you. Hello. I'll have to give you my card later. I have a feeling that if I reached to my pocket, I would get my head blown off. Oh, you don't have to reach for your pocket for that. Uh, what's, what, what? What's that cat on, oh, you're, wait, yeah, it's the, the fanny pack. That now, like, seems like an appropriate cat time to ask is. that. What is that? Oh, this? It's Bastet. Bastet? A cat goddess. Why are you asking me now? I don't know. I'll reassure her. Sorry you had to see this. It's fine. Is it? Don't worry. I won't kill him. Why? Then can I leave? No! Sure. If you don't mind me breaking every one of your fingers. Yeah, we can do that. Then I'd rather not. Let's start with the toes, though. Makes running away a lot harder when you can't freaking step on your foot. Uh, but we're just watch, I guess. Is it true that you were the one who gave Renju his watch? Yes. That's true. There was no need to ask anything else. Why did Peter help Renju? 
His last answer was all I needed to hear. Uh, about 89th escape. Two days ago, Renju escaped from the hospital. Renju asked me on the phone to report everything about Shoko's murder case. That's what he wanted. Yesterday, the boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, Is there any way we can let number 89 escape? I was conflicted. I thought hard about it, but it was Renju asking. Someone I love. This seems like he thought with the wrong head, Pewter! And he sounded like he was on death's doorstep. He was begging for help. I couldn't say no. No, you could have. With my intelligence, I was quickly able to come up with a plan. We should probably put a brain in his intelligence. You know what the results were. No, a bullet, not a brain! Oh, God damn it, brain! Uh, escape, escape again? The escape happened exactly how I described earlier. Though, I wasn't being threatened with a gun. You were acting, huh? Just pretending to be his hostage. Yes. Did number 89 know about the plan? Of course. We discussed it when we were alone in the interrogation room. Naturally, he agreed. I imagine he would have taken Did any we just not have the cameras escape. going in there? With the mics? Even if we failed, he was already serving a life sentence. Uh, why did Renju escape with 89? I don't know. It's true. Please, believe me. Now you gotta shoot off one of his knees. Renju said that he needed him. That's all I know. Okay, where's boss? I may not look it, but I have connections high up at HQ. Friends from my college days. I asked one of them to call up the boss. Where's Renju? I see. So where is Renju? Even if I knew, why would I tell you? Shoot him! Because you don't want more holes in your body than you already have. You can't. Why not? Date, I didn't tell you all this because you were threatening me. Oh, God damn it! is this a trap? I genuinely wanted you to know, to understand the truth, Date. What are you talking about? There's a variable you haven't considered. I made Aiba. Oh, shit. And? You don't get it? Date, his hands! This is why we shoot first! Always shoot okay. first! No. Come with me. Alright, so... Every time I play video games, I feel more justified that murder is always the answer! We didn't have to murder him outright. Just shoot him in the shoulders, knees. Computer. Dick. He won't die then. Not not for a little bit anyways. Date, calm down or it will compromise your ability to drive. If you crash, you will not be able to save Iris. Where is she? I don't know. Oh, oh, GPS in the butt crack. So then where the hell am I going? How would I know that? You acted on your own. That's a true, that's true. Call Moma. What about her phone's GPS? I tried. It's been turned off. GPS in the butt crack. Call Moma. It's just an extra precaution. Put it somewhere they won't find it. Iba, call Moma now. On it. Hey, Dante. I need you to track that GPS. I explained the situation as fast as I could. Tessa. Tessa got kidnapped. Dante, you bastard. It wasn't me. My eyeball got shot. I know, I know. Yell at me later. Right now, I need you to tell me where she is. God damn it. As I start pause, Momo yelled out. Fishery? Koto. Ariake. Harbor Warehouse District. What? That's where the cold storage warehouse is. All comes back to the fishery. That's where I saw Iris' dead body. Hey, are you listening, asshole? No! I've got it, thanks. I'm on my way there, too. Sure. 
Bring the Yakuza! I'm still trying to piece together everything. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I would not... I would not have actually... guessed that... Peter was the lover of Renju. There was no real indication of it. I mean, when Peter... Maybe it's a different timeline sort of thing? I don't know. But, like, when we found Renju's body... Pewter didn't really seem that upset. You figure if someone's even just like remotely close in friendship to you, you'd be upset. Or, you know, if you're their lover, you'd probably be devastated, right? Even if it was just like a friends with benefits type thing. But still, there's a lot of guys here. Something. What do you mean something? Those are the guys who attacked us at Golden Yoga Show. The mercenaries. How many? I detect more than we can see. They are positioned all over the area, surrounding the warehouse. Okay, our Each men. Of them carries an assault rifle. We should get an assault rifle ourselves. Getting through will not be an easy task. <sighs> Looks that way. There are tons of enemies on high alert all around the storage. Um. Oh, shoot this. Something. Look. It's a barricade? There are portable barricades set up in two areas in front of the warehouse. Those really aren't that good of barricades, man. Portable? You can just walk over them. They can be moved and erected easily. You can probably just drive over them, too. <laughs> also erected. Uh, portable barricades in two spots around the warehouse. A uh, barricade. Look. Okay, I already looked at that shit. Really? What am I looking for then? Uh, hmm. Okay. Zoom in, I guess. Did I miss something? No. I don't see any green anywhere. Um. Well. I don't know what to do. So I guess that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time. And we'll probably be stuck here for a little bit.